In this video, I'm going to describe how to enter a multi-stage journey in the commuting and homeworking survey form. This is usually conducted once a year, and you're asked to enter details of your commute to work in a typical week. This will be scaled up to determine an annual figure, and then combined with the submissions from all your colleagues to produce an annual emissions figure for your organisation. You will have received an email containing a link to GHGI Commuting, your organisation's account ID as well as your username and password. It also contains a link to two videos, one explaining how to complete a single stage journey and this one explaining how to complete a multi-stage journey. The third video explains how to measure commuting distances for different transport types. To access the survey, enter your organization's account ID, your username and password, then click Login, which takes you to the survey form. The email will also specify the time period for which the details of your commute are requested. It will ask you either to select a specific time period from the drop-down or a specific date in the date field. From the reporting period drop-down, I'm going to select financial year 2023. This will set the applies to date field to the last day of the reporting period. In this video, we're going to look at a three-stage journey. The first is by car to the railway station, the second by train, and the third is by tram to the place of work. The first question is typically, how did you travel to work during the period? I'm going to select three different types of transport, which opens up three different stages to complete. As you can see, there are quite a few options to choose from, including battery electric and plug-in hybrid cars, bus, train, car sharing and car ride. A car ride is where someone gives you a lift into work. I'm going to select car, petrol, internal combustion engine. This opens the Vehicle Registration Reference field, into which you enter your vehicle's registration number. The system uses this to obtain your vehicle CO2 emissions from the DVLA website. For cars, vans and motorcycles, this gives us the most accurate emissions figures. Uh, if you drive a van to work, select the car option with the appropriate fuel type, then enter its registration number. This will give us the information we need. If you select car, battery-powered EV, a full electric vehicle, the vehicle registration reference field will not open. This is because a battery electric vehicle does not produce any direct greenhouse gas emissions. Their emissions are indirect emissions based on the electricity consumed from the grid. In the next drop-down we will select train. Finally, in the third means of transport drop-down, we will select light rail or tram. For the distance to the station, we are going to enter 5.7 miles. You will see that for stage 2, selecting rail has changed the green measure road distance button to measure rail distance. If you click on it, you will be taken to a website that provides an accurate distance for rail travel. None of the online mapping systems like Google or Bing currently provides the track distance between railway stations. We will enter Loughborough as the starting point, and Nottingham as the destination, then select Get Mileage. This provides a distance of 14 miles and 75 chains. Now, as there are 80 chains in a mile, we will enter 14.94 miles. Lastly, we will enter a tram journey of 2.3 miles. The next question is, on average, how many times per week did you commute to work? The system will accept parts of days. So, for example, if during the period you alternated between three days one week and four days the next week, you can enter 3.5 days. But I'm going to enter three days. You are then asked, did you work from home during the period? I will select yes, which opens up two further questions. The first, how many days per week did you work from home? On this occasion, I will enter two days. The final question, when working from home, provides two options. 
I turned on the heating when the weather was cold, and I didn't need to adjust the heating. We ask this question because heating can form a major part of the emissions resulting from homeworking. We only want to count the emissions that are the direct result of your working from home. If the heating was on during the day because there were others in the house or flat, these emissions are not to be counted. I'm going to select I turned on the heating when the weather was cold. I will now click the green submit button. This takes us to a page showing your answers and asking you to confirm that they are correct. I will click Confirm. This provides us with the weekly emissions from both your commute and any homeworking undertaken during the period. The emissions are split into two parts. Scope 3, Category 7, which is the category covering commuting and homeworking in the GHG corporate protocol. These are the emissions from fossil fuels and are what your organisation will need to report. The second category is outside of scopes. These are the CO2 emissions resulting from the biofuel element of a particular fuel. Biofuels are manufactured from organic material. These CO2 emissions are not generally reported, as it is assumed that they will be reabsorbed when the particular source regrows. We display them where possible because we can, and it gives a more complete picture of the overall emissions. We also believe that emissions from outside of scopes will need to be reported in the future. Your emissions from home working are shown separately. This is because the emissions are not currently a reporting requirement, but a recommendation. Also, they do not show any outside of scopes because the UK government factors do not yet include them. These are your weekly emissions. To get your annual emissions, you need to take account of annual and statutory leave. Multiplying by 44 or 45 will give you a reasonably accurate figure for the year. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it's been helpful to you.